today we will learn subtraction of decimal numbers shelly wants to cover four sides of the table cloth with a lace shelly has 4.5 meters length of lace she used 2.35 meters of lace to cover the table cloth what is the length of the remaining lace with her in order to find the length of the remaining lace we need to subtract these two decimal numbers however the subtraction of decimal numbers is done in the same way as we do subtraction of whole numbers but while subtracting decimal numbers it is necessary to take care of a few things related to the subtraction of these numbers in this video let us learn an interesting way to perform the subtraction of decimal numbers we need to find what will be the value when 2.35 is subtracted from 4.50 so let's solve it we already know that any decimal number has a whole part to the left side of the decimal point and a part of the whole to the right side of the decimal point for example in 4.50 4 is the whole number and 50 is the hundredths similarly in 2.35 Two is the whole number, and thirty-five is the hundredths. To subtract these numbers, we will draw a square and consider each square as one whole or one unit. In four point five, four is the whole, so we will take four squares, and to represent fifty hundredths, we will take another square and divide it into hundred parts. We will shade fifty parts out of the hundred equal parts. In two point three five. Two is the whole, so we take two squares, and to represent thirty-five hundredths, we will take another square and divide it into hundred parts and shade thirty-five out of the hundred. Now we will subtract two point three five from four point five zero. Since there are four squares here, after removing two squares, two squares will remain. Similarly, after removing thirty-five parts from fifty parts of the hundredths. 15 parts will remain so tell me how we can write two wholes and 15 parts in decimal form think for a while you got it right we will write it as 2.15 since there are two wholes and 15 hundredths therefore the length of the remaining lace is 2.15 meters in mathematics Subtraction of decimal numbers is done in the same way we do subtraction of whole numbers. To do subtraction, we will write the number from which another number is being subtracted on the top. Below this, we write the number being subtracted. While doing so, we need to take care of the place values. The numbers with the same place value should be written in the same column. Otherwise, the result will be incorrect. That's why We will write the units four and two in the same column, the tens five and three in the same column. Similarly, we will write the hundredths zero and five in the same column. In some cases, the number of digits after the decimal point might not be equal. What do we do in such cases? Think for a while. You got it right. We need to put zero at the empty place. and make the number of digits equal since the number of digits in both of these numbers is the same we don't need to do so as we have arranged the numbers one below the other now we can subtract these numbers you might have remembered that we move from right to left while doing subtraction so first we will subtract 5 from 0 but we cannot do it because 0 is smaller than 5 Therefore we will borrow 1 from the digit left to the zero by doing so the value of the digit in the tens place will be reduced by 1 that means it will be reduced to 4 from 5 since the value at the tens place is 10 times the value at the hundredths place therefore if we borrow 1 from the tens place then the value at the hundredths place will be 10 in brief One tenth will be equal to ten hundredths. Now, in the hundredths place, there are ten and zero. The total will be 
10 plus 0 is equal to 10. Now, we can subtract 5 from 10. So, the result in the hundredths place will be 5. Similarly, we can do the subtraction of digits at the tenth place. Subtracting 3 from 4, the result in the tenths place will be 1. We will write the decimal point as it is. By writing it, we can divide the whole from the part of a whole. Now, we will subtract the digits at units place. Subtracting 2 from 4 gives you 2, which we will write at the place of units. So, in this way, we have subtracted 2.35 from 4.50 and got 2.15. Therefore, the length of the remaining lace with Shelley is 2.15 meters. So, can you do the subtraction on decimal numbers now? Try and solve this problem. A milkman has 23.250 litres of milk. Out of this, he could sell 19.750 litres of milk. So, find out the remaining amount of milk. If you get 3.5 litres as your answer, then congratulations, because you have learned the subtraction of decimal numbers properly. Today, we have learned subtraction of decimal numbers. In the next video, we will see some more examples related to decimal numbers. Thank you.